ho, here's the situation. Looks like we got our first little malfunction with the 300. So, uh, driver's side window is not going up or down. The glass is currently in the door. So, I think what I'm going to do is take you guys along while I take this door panel off and see what's going on inside. Okay, well, first things first, you're going to want to get the armrest off and the door latch off. I'm using a Craftsman ratchet with swiveling head. So you're going to want to get that in there. Get a hold of the Phillips head screw and remove that. Okay, now for the door latch, you're going to want to open it up, and you can see right in here, we have the Phillips head screw that we're going to want to unscrew. Okay, the door latch is off. Now we could take the uh, shroud off. And that leaves us now next with the window crank unit, which as you can see that has a hex drive on it. Now our mirror adjustment trim piece simply screws off. So all you're going to want to do is unscrew that and that trim ring will come right off. And of course, your door lock, you're going to want to simply unscrew that and take that out before you take your door panels off. Okay, now you want to start to carefully pull the door panel away from the door. You're going to want to feel for the clip, carefully pry it. You can feel them pop out one by one. You want to start with the bottom first and then work your way up the sides and over the top. Now you will see the window regulator switch is attached to the door panel so that should come off with it. my window roller screw in. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to carefully pull up on the door panel. I should be able to pop it out. You want to be mindful of the wires for the window control. Uh, from here you could unlatch this. Uh, your mirror control is free floating at this point. You're going to take your protective shroud off and see what's going on in there. Okay, so I think I see what the issue is. Um, as you could hear, the motor still works, but the actual motor arm popped out from the track on the window. Okay, what I actually ended up having to do is take the four bolts off that secure the window regulator in place so that it would be free floating and I could slip that wheel into the window slide at the bottom. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm unscrewing the bottom left bolt that attached the bottom of the, I guess I'm going to call it the bump stop to the window to the actual window slider so I could get the clearance to slide in this window regulator wheel. Thank you. 
okay. I got the wheel in place. So now what I could do is bolt the window regulator back up and retighten my bump stop to the window slide. Okay, so I ran into a little bit of an issue and here on the Rick Quadruple Zero channel, I'm not too proud to share with you my little blunders. Uh, I think maybe this might help a few of you who are trying to do this. So as the window regulator was free, freely moving around, there's a electrical connection that meets the harness and then the actual window regulator. That came undone. So as soon as I got this whole thing into place, I go to put the window up and down and I got like no juice. So I'm like, oh my gosh, there must be a connection somewhere that came unhooked. Sure enough, that's where it was. So I had to take everything back apart, reposition the window regulator, get the switch in, and now it's going back together. So I have the little wheel in the slider. Uh, the plan is, what I'm gonna do is you could see there's a bolt there and a bolt there that holds the slider to the window. I'm gonna put a little washer on each of those bolts to bring the head of the washer out a little bit as to prevent this wheel from being able to pop out the sides. Cause that's how I'm thinking it may have popped out. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated. You know, nothing too fancy here. This ain't a show car. Um, <laughs> this plastic was held up by duct tape before. So we're just gonna use some electrical tape and get this thing back up in a reasonable spot. I'm gonna have to move those wires over a bit and get this stuck back on. careful to push these clips into the hole because um, over time they do get bent so you want to make sure you're not just gonna push them into the actual door you want to make sure it goes into the trim hole Okay, so as you could see, we were able to fix the window. It's now working. Uh, it was pretty simple. You know, it's a little tough. You want to be careful with uh, getting the door panel off with the door clips, and you want to be careful with all your trim pieces. Uh, I'm going to have to clean the window now. As you can see, it's all greasy from my hands and the wheel. But. I'll keep you guys updated if I have any other issues with it. Uh, hopefully this should be good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helped a few of you out.